Tommy Stout. Yep, that's the right answer, Eggheads. So, MBEs, second question. In which year were parking meters first introduced in the United Kingdom? 1858, 1908, or 1958? In which year were parking meters first introduced in the United Kingdom? Exactly. And I can't see a horse and cart being on the parking meters, am I? So, um, yeah, for that one. 1958. 1958. There were a few cars around in 1908. But they could park where they wanted. 1958 is the right answer. OK, eggheads. In which form of wrestling must contestants clasp their hands behind their opponents' backs at all times and rest their chins on each other's right shoulders? Greco-Roman wrestling, Cumberland wrestling or Iranian wrestling? Well, it was Cumberland. I've watched their show now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's that one where you see, you see, yeah. you see the, the typically uh, 19th century men in the big leather boots, big white vests, and wrestling each other, I mean, st standing at mm. angles, but... Yeah, and they've got to keep locked together at the top. Yeah, yeah. they've got to, got to keep holding each other and yeah. shoulders together, because yeah. you, you always see them face yeah. to face. Yeah. We don't know, so we're going for Cumberland wrestling. We think that's probably the most likely we're going for. Cumberland? Yeah. It is Cumberland wrestling. You've got it somehow, eggheads. Ooh. Still all square. What is the collective name for a group of giraffes? A parliament, a tower, or a pillar? What is the collective name for a group of giraffes? It's not a parliament. It's a nice. parliament of bowls. Um, a tower would be the logical yeah. thing. Or a pillar. Do you know... Do you know what? There is a power, because there'll be one something that will be a pillar and something will be a tower. Never heard it used. I haven't. Go on. What do you think? What sounds better? A tower of giraffes or a, a pillar, pillar of giraffes? A pillar sounds better. Let's go for pillar. Pillar. Pillar? Yep. OK. Tall, yep. Plubble. Parliament of Alge, you said. Well, the kids didn't know their last one and somehow guessed it. Um, you're admitting you don't know this one. And you've got it wrong. It's a tower, a tower of giraffes. Absolutely right about the parliament, but um, yeah. might have another chance if the eggheads get this wrong. But to win it, eggheads, what is the name of the ancient Egyptian goddess of the sky? Marat, Ishtar, or Nut? Nut. Is the answer there? Nut. 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 There's not, nothing else to say. <laughs> That is the right answer, Egghead. You've won. <laughs> Guys, bad luck. The quiz gods were not smiling <laughs> on you today there. That was... Uh, they had a bit of a guess. I mean, both were informed guesses on those key swing questions, their yep. wrestling question and your, yep. your giraffe question, and they happened to get theirs right, and uh, you unfortunately got yours wrong. But uh, great performance, MBEs. But the Eggheads have done what comes naturally to them. Their winning streak continues. I'm afraid you won't be going home with the £10,000, which means the money rolls over to our next show. Eggheads, congratulations. When will someone beat you? Join us next time to see if the new challengers have the brains to defeat the Eggheads.